Heard anything from forensics? There's nothing conclusive yet. What about witnesses? Not so far. Yes. Somebody had to have seen something. There were plenty of people at the warehouse. Uh, you got a second? You'll keep me posted. Sure. Thanks, Doctor. How are you doing? As the DA or as Alexis? Well, as the DA, I know you're doing very well, especially with the media. Not really a hard sell. Nobody really wants to see a kid get shot. And truthfully, I don't think anyone should really rest too well until this case is solved. How about Alexis? The girl slept in my bed last night. I didn't sleep. I worked on the internet for a while. I went back to bed. I held them. I just want you to know that I don't want to live if anything ever happens to them. Yeah, I didn't sleep much either. Kept driving by the house. Hmm. That was you. I thought that was one of Sonny's guards. Look, I, uh... I've been thinking about how you would react to this and what I can do to help. I want you to do whatever it takes to protect both of the girls. I'll support you all the way. You know, when I first heard about Michael, I, I knew that your worst fears had been realized. And it started me thinking. I knew your first instinct would be to, you know, grab the kids and run. It was. It is. I want to run. But blind panic really isn't the way to make a life-altering decision, so I went on the internet. I scanned it all night looking for safe cities, good neighborhoods, good schools, a place for me to establish a practice that's as far away from sunny as possible. Have you decided anything yet? Huh? Oh. Searched everywhere between Seattle and Hong Kong, Iceland, Western Canada. I don't okay. Know. Well, wherever you decide to move, I want you to take Molly. I won't put up a fight. Thank you. I mean, I'm going to visit her, but I just don't think it's a wise idea to keep her in Port Charles. When I think about Michael in the warehouse, bleeding, mm -hmm. all I wanted to do was spend some time with his father. Yeah, well, we're not going to let that happen to our kids. You're making this a lot easier. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to lie to you, Alexis. It's going to kill me to be separated from Molly, but at least I know that she'll be safe and happy with her mom. That's very generous. You know, it may turn out that we're fairly decent parents after all.